still bank on live stand-up comedy. And with us today, national booking agent, comedy club owner, Tracy Wiggs is with us. Hey, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Tracy, are you working? Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. We can hear you. I think we have some audio issues. Yeah. yeah. Are you on mute, Tracy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, we'll, uh, we'll get Tracy right back. But, um, you know, Tracy is going to, uh, you know, join us today to talk about some of the uh, issues and some of the uh, things that have been going on during the pandemic for comedy clubs. Um, and not just comedy clubs, but just any other entertainment venue. Like that's what's going to make it uh, extremely, extremely in yes. interesting. Yeah. I think uh, so, we have some issues to bring Tracy back right now, but uh, we can talk a little bit, uh, Quincy, about yeah. the comedy industry, how it's been affected since you are also in the business. Uh, you yeah. can uh, walk through us. Yeah, well, uh, you know, like what Tracy is responsible for is he books uh, like he's like a national booker for the NACA organization, which is, uh, I believe, National Association of Campus Activities. So colleges and universities are always booking entertainment. Well, clearly all schools are closed right now. Uh, clearly, you know, there is no booking of any entertainment. So it's pretty much at a standstill in terms of, you know, entertaining the public. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, cruise ship industry, like he, he, he also books for the Norwegian cruise lines as well. So, um, and with him uh, being, uh -huh. is that how you go on all the cruises? <laughs> no, no, okay. no, no, no. I was already, Let's bring Tracy I was already back. Going. I was like, no, no. Bring Tracy back. <laughs> no, 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 I was already going on all the cruises before that. Talking to producer right now. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but, um, you know, like as we're trying to kind of go into phase one of reopening, I mean, when we were talking to Tracy earlier, as you ladies mm -hmm. remember, he, he was like, the comedy club industry is going to be last, like in, you know, in opening anything. Um, yeah. And, and, and he mentioned about that, like a comedy club is opposite of what we are living right now. Now we are practicing social distances. And uh, as a matter of fact, for you guys, it's mm -hmm. the opposite. We need the people go to the class, yeah. get together, and also socialize. So he said yeah. that, that uh, you guys are in the last uh, place in the list when and this economy is going to restart opening. I think we can actually bring him. Well, oh, never mind. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like it's the... It's the issues that we deal with with virtual uh, mm -hmm. TV these days. But, um, you know, we'll definitely try to get him back on in the future. But the biggest thing that I know that I've seen, um, it's just the absence of live audiences um, that we've seen. We've seen unprecedented levels of creating comedy online. So right. for the comedy club industry, they can't book comics, but comics can still get themselves out there can still produce work and that's what right. i found too now do you feel like having to do your stand-up virtually forces you to kind of be more creative with your jokes absolutely um but but it also forces you to relinquish a lot more vulnerability because when you don't okay. have anybody laughing hey Tracy. we got tracy back <laughs> hey. hey nope yep i got you i can hear you now okay, okay yeah. perfect all right, so cool. Um, you know, I know our time is going to be short in this segment. We, we did touch on a lot of things that we were going to yeah. talk to you about. But as a comedy club owner there um, in Maryland, um, you service Northern Virginia and D.C. Are you worried about this first uh, phase of opening back up and the proper information? Yeah. Oh. Yes, I, I'm very I'm very concerned because um uh, at the end of the day, let's just be real. I mean, they, everybody's making uh, assumptions, and it's, it's, it seems like everything is about guesses. But, but the bottom line is, for us in the entertainment industry, everything that we do is social. So therefore, uh, I can't see us getting back into the mix with anything uh, anytime soon. I think we're, we're the bottom of the barrel of what's going to happen. They're more concerned about sports uh that part of entertainment before they get to comedy clubs we're, we're not mm -hmm. going to see any, that's any kind of club clubs period i'm not just saying kind of but any kind of right. club 
Yeah, okay. we've been talking about that uh, right behind the scenes uh, when you just, when we don't have you uh, with us on the conversation, but Tracy, the time is short right now because we lost it before. Uh, thank you so much. And we hope this is gonna get better soon for everyone. Right, thank and we definitely wanna have you back on the show. Yes. Anytime, thank you.